Good morning, everyone. Um, so far today, I have worked out. I made sure to do that first thing, otherwise I probably would not do it. I have so much dirt on my glasses, oh my god. Okay, no glasses. Um, uh, today I'm going to, or currently, I guess I'm making breakfast. I'm making some Kodiak cake. Uh, I threw the box away. But it's the Kodiak cake cinnamon and oat pancake mix. It's my favorite. It's so good. Um, and I put uh, dark chocolate chunks I just got from Trader Joe's in it makes it even better. Um, so I'm gonna have some pancakes. I've not showered yet after my workout because I take Boach to the park um, during a little, my little like half hour, 15 minute work break. Kind of like my lunch time, I guess. Um, and I look a right mess because I don't have any makeup on uh, because I'm at home by myself. <laughs> so why do I put makeup on? Um, so I'm gonna do that and then I decided uh, my agility trainer, oh my pancake's gonna burn. <laughs> So I decided, um, because I got an email from my agility trainer this morning that she's going to be holding virtual trial runs on New Year's Eve. So Thursday in two days. Um, and I do happen to have Thursday off from work. So she's going to do it by 1130. We're going to start the run. So I need to be there early. Um, so Boach and I are going to go <laughs> hopefully and do the first two runs, which is going to be regular and chances which we've done we've done both of those before so fingers crossed we've not done weave pulls in a hot minute so definitely had to practice that today i'll try and get video of that uh but we have not done that probably in weeks like even since the last time we were at agility for the virtual trials we didn't need to do weave pulls during those runs so that'll be interesting uh, I looked up both of the agility runs that we're going to be doing. They don't look too bad, but the weave pulls. So we'll practice that as well. Um, and then otherwise, I think I'm going to be literally doing nothing today. So I guess I'll try to video um, the park and the agility weave pulls. <laughs> so I always make a boach pancake because my child. Um, so I scraped off the pan, cleaned the pan, got a new spatch spatch because the other ones had dark chocolate chunks in it. So I'm not trying to poison my dog. So I'm going to make him his little, he went laying down on the couch. <laughs> I'm going to make him his little, um, pam cake. Um, so he can have something to snack on while I eat too, once it's cooled down. And, uh, also... I've begun starting to collect all of my Christmas decor. I know, I still had Thanksgiving out. Good God. Um, all of my Christmas decor to start putting it away. I wonder when all of you start putting your Christmas decorations away. I do like to leave my Christmas decorations out as long as possible. However, obviously this... <laughs> <laughs> this Christmas has been real weird, obviously. Hasn't really felt like Christmas. Um, and... I do enjoy, it's getting good light. I do enjoy starting the new year fresh with like a clean house, decluttered house because our tree takes up a good chunk of our living room. Let me show you. So here's our tree, which takes up a good chunk of the living room. Bochi's bed usually sits over there, so it's not so like clustered right here. Um, so once that's taken down, which I'll probably be the last thing because that's a lot of work and I need to get an ornament bin um from the store like a big one because i have a small one and i think i've added a bunch of ornaments this year so i need a bigger one um but like i've started taking decorations down so like i've removed all the christmas decorations from here this needs to be dusted um and like it's slowly just coming down from the rest of the of the house and it'll be clean it'll be a fresh start for 2021 hopefully a better year my friend shelby got me this candle it smells so good. I love it so much. We've already lit it. Love it. 
Budgie's cake, getting nice and uh, baked. I didn't mention yet, but I'm only gonna be doing the first two virtual trial runs because my car is in the shop currently. I took it in there yesterday at eight o'clock um, to an auto body shop to get the front bumper fixed because it was in a little fender bender. Um, and potentially, hopefully, I get it picked up Thursday. So I probably won't be able to stay all day long at the trial because I'm pretty sure my trainer wants us to stay or wants the trial to go until it right before it gets like too cold and too dark. So it's gonna it's like four four different runs. So it's gonna be an all day thing depending on how many people are there, of course. Um, so I'm only gonna probably be able to do the first two runs and then have to go pick up my car from the shop. Fingers crossed it doesn't stay there all freaking weekend because that would be really annoying. They told me it should only be a two to three day job, so technically it should be done Wednesday, but then she was telling me Thursday, so kind of annoying. Should have got this on video, but the smallest and the easiest pancake to flip, and I flipped it on the edge of the pan. Oh my God. <laughs> Ridiculous. Breakfast ready. I know if you don't like bananas, it's gross. My sister doesn't like bananas, the noise of her, but delicious. Also, I wanted to showcase these mugs that um, Anthony and I got for <laughs> Christmas for my sister. This is mine. It's so cute. Little boat. You little boat. <laughs> and this is Anthony's. He loves his. It's so cute. Best job dad ever. Mm. All right, time to eat. We've created a monster. <clears throat> this dog begs like no one's business now. I told him to go lay down in his bed. He goes up on the couch. For heaven's sake, I need to be more strict. Also, he knows he has a pancake waiting, so he's not wrong. Okay. I'm not going <laughs> to I'm not going to give him the full pancake because <laughs> Uh, we're about to go and I don't want someone to have a full tummy when we're going to go running. So, he get half a pancake. There we did. My splatter. Be nice. Be nice. Okay. Delicious. <laughs> Ow. Clearly we love it. Be gentle. Okay, it's a little dry. You may need some water. All right, case it up. Oh, I tell him that. Sleepy <laughs> cute. <laughs> Good boy, Bubba. All right, let's go to the park. Oh, yeah. Off we go. Lovely. All right, we made it. We're ready. This dog is crazy. So we're gonna go on a short little hike. Although I think now he's lost his ball, which is great. Come on. You see him? Come on, boach. So we're just gonna do a loop to loop during my lunch hour, fill it up with boachy play, and then I'll go home, get back to work. And the joys of working at home. All right, clearly we're a little tired. We have been throwing the ball at the park for a little while now, so someone thinks he needs to lay down. You're young and <laughs> oh, yep, gotta pee on that one bush. Typical. Come on. <sighs> Such a goober. I don't know how well you can see that because the sun is directly in my eyes, but um, I'm trying to show you the snowy mountains. We got a lot of snow over the Christmas weekend in the Sierras in the pass. It's so pretty out there when you drive through it. I drove through it back 
after Christmas, after the storm had passed. So pretty. I want to go snowshoeing up there so bad. This is like called Peavine Trail, and that's Peavine Peak up there. When you look at this on a map, it shows this all filled in with water. So, a long time ago, this used to all be water, like a little Peavine Lake. I kind of wish it was still, but I do like the trails. All right, I really like running him on this part of our trail. I don't know how well you can tell, but it is like a small hill and it's pretty like uh, bumpy, like it's not flat all the way. So it really makes him think of where he's, I cut myself off, but it makes him think of where he's putting his feet. So it really, you know, mentally stimulates him as well. So come on, we're gonna throw it on here for a little bit and then head back. Um, come on. And he's gonna hopefully chill the rest of the day, but we'll see. <laughs> he's down there I have set up an agility course a homemade agility course although I do have weave poles for my trainer um, so those are legit <laughs> everything else is just because I need I can give him a little obstacle course so here it is here's our little obstacle <laughs> course so those are the weave poles he'll go over it in between these chairs come back around go between those chairs that chair I brought down here because I thought this pole was going to be long enough. However, now it's going to be like a makeshift barrel for him to go around and then weave poles. So we'll see how this goes. Go weave, weave, proud of him for not having done the weaves <laughs> for not having done the weaves in weeks potentially a month month and a half even I think since November since our last trial <laughs> which every time he does it in a trial um, or he's only done it like a couple times in trials because we're newly novice in the regulars but he will start the weave pulls and then like midway through breakout, uh, I'm trying to remember, or he'll, oh, a lot of times he'll start like the second or third pull in, <laughs> which is annoying. So 
This run, he's looking at me, this run is gonna be like through a hoop and then right to the weave pole. So it's gonna be a little difficult, I think because he's gonna be going full speed at it and it's gonna be his first run and he just gets so excited the first time he runs um, for agility. He's like not tired yet, he's super pumped. Like he was so pumped when we were doing our little obstacle course out in the backyard. Um, he was so excited about it. So it's gonna be a little tougher, I think. For that situation, I'm gonna have to tell him to go easy so he slows down and doesn't like barrel right into the first pole. Um, but in our little backyard practice, he did so good. He didn't mess up any weaves at all. Like he ran the whole freaking course. Um, not once did he mess up his entrance. He went through the entire six weave poles. He did so good. Um, even like depending on anywhere I was standing like I could have been standing at the end of the weave pulse and he still found the entrance I stood on the other side of the weave pulls a bunch still found the entrance He did like a complete of course was wonky the one I have it's not Like there's a lot of moves that he would not be doing in normal agility um, but Any way he had to go at the weave pulls he entered them so well I'm so proud of him. He's just staring at me now. Um, so, high hopes <laughs> for Thursday. I left all the chairs. I'm going to feed him the rest of his pancake. I left all the chairs um, out in the backyard because we don't have our sprinklers on. It's not supposed to snow. And the weave poles I do usually put away, um, since they're not mine, I put away uh, when we're going to be having crappy weather or when the sprinklers are on. So, um, those I'll leave out till tomorrow and then when we're done with our practice runs tomorrow I'll put them away because I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be getting snow starting like Sunday through all of next week so far <laughs> so that'll be a good week a good week to do all of our mental stimulation ideas inside because I plan on doing a video on those um, showing all of the ideas that I have found online and with like this Facebook group called canine enrichment um, that I'll explain, but I'm going to do a video on all of the mental stimulation games shush, that, uh, I do with him when one, he needs his mind worked, which is every day. Um, and then two, when we're stuck inside because of crummy weather and I don't really want to go play in the snow or the wet rain, snow, I would rather do rain. Not so much. Oh, he's whining because I'm holding pancake. <laughs> all right, here you go. Was you a good boy with the weave pose? Yeah? This dog always has, always, always has sleep in his eye. Always. Both of them. It's like, it must be the way his eyes are shaped. He always has sleep in his eyes. What a little mongrel. My little teeth. <laughs> oh my goodness. Almost done. He's so patient. God, I should bring pancakes to agility. No, I usually bring... Oh, nice burp. <laughs> that's it. I usually bring... Uh, that's it. <laughs> um, I usually bring chicken. Uh, I just get, like, plain chicken from Trader Joe's, which I've actually, like, broken up and I've stored in the freezer. So, like, I'll get this out. Oh, God, you can't see me. <laughs> oh, my... <laughs> Close the freezer. So I get these out of the freezer when we're going to be going to do agility the day before. Technically, it's two days right now, but whatever. Um, because I used to do, excuse me, I used to do string cheese, which I probably, I might bring some. I don't know. Um, he loves chicken. There's, he definitely has drive for chicken. Um, I always, always make sure I have high value treats for agility. He likes anything usually. Like I really could go with like his dog food and he'd be fine, but he's more pumped when I have high value treats, obviously. Um, so I used to use string cheese and like string cheese alone, but he's such a knucklehead during class that he gets so anxious and excited that like when the teacher's talking, we're working on quiet, <laughs> the command quiet, but he still gets like very amped and whiny and excited. So like I'll feed him a little bit of cheese and stuff when we're like sitting there listening to the teacher talk. Um, so we would be going through like almost a whole, uh, 
string cheese, cheese, a whole serving, human sized serving of string cheese. So, uh, also, as you may or may not know, lactose isn't that great for dogs. Like they can't digest it very well. <laughs> so as you can imagine, his tummy wasn't very happy and he stunk. And I mean, it wasn't that bad, but I think it's happier now. <laughs> I think his tummy's a little happier now that we're just doing chicken. Um, and you need to be the string cheese because it's, you know, delicious. <laughs> so. I got this thine for Thursday's practice. I think I'm gonna go shower now and just chill out, finish working for the rest of my day. Um, and I will pick this back up tomorrow when, oh, big truck outside. Uh, we'll pick this, I will pick this back up tomorrow uh, when we run more agility. See ya. Okay, so I've showered now, but I wanted, and I was done blocking, but I wanted to show this little stinker. Uh-huh, he's laid the wrong way for me, of course. He's got this scrape, I guess you call it, <laughs> scrape on his um, foot. No, sorry, I'm not thinking he's right. Scrape on his leg. Um, on his back leg that he's had for two weeks now that won't heal mainly because the little butt that he is licks it every chance he gets every chance I'm not looking so yeah you've laid the wrong way oh my god I'm getting his uh, I have a little bit of this uh, chlorhexidine that I'm going to put on it. We have to dilute it with water, so I'm doing that right now. It's kind of a lot of water. Right there. So I just diluted a little bit of that chlorhexidine with this, on this cotton swab. All right, I need you to move. All right, I'm making him get up and move now because he's laid on the leg that I'm supposed to be working on. I came in this room after I had showered and he was looking uh, mighty guilty. Mighty guilty. And no, now I know why. Because someone was licking the heck out of their foot. Here it is. Sorry if it's gross to you. It is kind of bleeding because you were licking it, weren't you? Look at that pathetic face. He's in trouble, huh? Yeah. Dang it. So, I clean it, Bochi. And I yell at Bochi the whole time. Uh uh. Bochi. So, I get. Uh uh. Oh my god. Dog. Okay. Hey. Back off. This is what you get. Bochi. Such poo. I know. It sucks. You've reopened it. It's now re bleeding. I usually clean it like this. Always with the chlorhexidine. Get all that crap off. We did go on that hike today. So, all that crap off. He's licked it. So, get all his nasty slobber off of it. <sighs> Make sure he doesn't touch it now. Uh uh. Leave it. Leave it. And then I have a, li a little bit of, which it seems is always a treat because it comes out of a Ziploc bag. But I have a little bit of this Dermavet ointment. Ah, ah! This Dermavet ointment. <laughs> it's just like that. Um, I'll try and show this and block him. That I'm going to put on it. Bochi. Oh, this is ideal videoing. Bochi, back off of yelling at him because he's such a pill. Back off. All right, let me recap this real quick. And annoyingly, I'm out of vet wrap. I haven't, I need to just, Bochi. I didn't think that I would use it all up on this. He's such a knucklehead. This isn't pus, this is ointment. Um, but I'm gonna do this. 
I don't have any vet wrap. When I was at my sister's, I ran out of it. I didn't think somebody would be licking it so long. I'm gonna make it into a hot spot child. He's so bad. Oh my god. If he would just stop licking it, it would go away. <laughs> He's also done this to himself. How do I? Yeah, he did this over the Christmas weekend. Knucklehead. I don't think he can reach that very well. Anyhow, so I started doing putting a long sock on his ah, leave it. A long sock on his foot and this time he gets Christmas puppies and a rubber uh, scrunchie over the ankle and it stays fairly well. So let me put this on. Uh, he thinks he's going to eat the ointment. Let me put this on and show you <laughs> the end result. I'm going to need two hands for this. Alrighty, we're not happy. So I got the sock on. <laughs> he looks ridiculous. Um, and I've put the scrunchie double, doubled it. It's not happening. Um, I doubled it. It is, you know, it's not tight. It's not gonna make his foot swell up. Um, I can get my hands under there. I am gonna roll the sock over it because it helps it stay. Um, so like, there's my fingers. It's loose enough, it's not gonna hurt him. It's loose all the way around. Luckily, he's one of those dogs that doesn't rip off bandages. As far as I know, he doesn't rip off. He One time he's licked through a bandage, but that's because he had sutures and they were really, really itchy. So, <laughs> oh, honey. Um, this has the ointment on it. It's gonna, the sock's gonna let it breathe a little bit. You know, it's not skin tight. Um, so it's going to let it breathe a little bit, get some oxygen flow to it. <laughs> um, and hopefully if I keep up this sock trick, I can get it to heal faster. A little poop. All right, here he is. Sock stand on. He walks just fine with it. Actually, it doesn't bother him too much. Go lay down. Oh, kind of just ignores him. He's pretty, uh. Here you go. <laughs> He's pretty easy to, uh, do stuff with on my own. Um, and I also, like, I put jackets on him and snow sweatshirts, and he has worn booties before, so. Tolerable. That's the word I'm thinking of. He's pretty tolerable with things. So this should work just fine. He also knows I'm watching him now and I'm here now. So that'll also help. Um, all right. See you tomorrow.